is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Chris Paul Lakers rebuild for what if Wednesday so I asked you guys in the community tab would you guys want to see what if Wednesday somebody actually hit me up on my Twitter I think his name was prison Sean and uh, you know actually suggested this series to me what if Wednesdays because we already had throwback Thursdays I thought it was a phenomenal idea so that's what we're going to be doing but I need you guys to drop a like if you want to continue seeing what if Wednesdays if we don't get that many likes not gonna continue to do it so make sure you smash that like button let's try to get 100 likes today to keep this series going but guys we're like 98 subscribers away from 10,000 subs at the making of this video so please if you are not subscribed change that right now let's try to reach 10,000 subs by the end of the day if we could do that it'd be a dream come true man I've been trying to get 10,000 subs like for the last three years obviously uh, and uh, we're super close so I'm excited but as we all know the Lakers trade was vetoed back in the day the Chris Paul one to be exact so this is why we're doing a what if Wednesday and this one was the most liked idea in the comments uh, this was the most liked one so I decided to start with this one and as we all know David Stern decided to veto the trade now the trade is not uh, exactly right on here I had to do kind of a, a version of it so basically what happened was Pau Gasol went to the Rockets a first round pick went to the Pelicans Goran Dragic went to the uh I guess they were the Hornets at the time New Orleans Hornets so basically the Lakers got Chris Paul the Rockets got Pau Gasol and then the Hornets got like Dragic Luis Scola uh Lamar Odom and then uh, I think there was somebody else Kevin Martin I think in a first round pick I think that was the trade uh based off a picture that I found online and uh, basically that's what we're gonna be rolling with obviously Kevin Martin I think is on the Nuggets on this roster so I decided not to mess with it Scola and Lamar Odom aren't on this roster at all so I decided not to you know mess with that at all so yeah so this is basically a version of the trade but all that matters is we have Kobe Bryant and Chris Paul what if these two were paired together back in the day how much damage or damage would this duo cause we'll have to see but right now our roster isn't perfect by any means uh, like it's actually really bad because yeah, there's not a lot of Lakers players on here. It's not a perfect roster, but it is pretty close. It's my favorite one that I found on PlayStation 4. Everything seems to be kind of correct. So we're going to roll with this roster. But uh, for right now, obviously, things aren't going to be looking that great. We have Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant, Matt Barnes, Jared Dudley. Our center sucks like this. Yeah, so obviously we need to make changes in the offseason. We definitely need to get some depth. And uh, there's really not that good of free agents out here. So yeah, there's not really anything we can do for right now. So guys, I think for now, we're just going to go ahead and simulate a full season. Can Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant uh, carry this team to a playoff berth? We'll have to see. But once we get in the offseason, we'll start to build this team around these two. At the end of season number one, the Chicago Bulls have won the championship. And Derrick Rose is your finals MVP. 41 points per game. I cannot wait to do a Derrick Rose Bulls rebuild. We're going to be doing that soon for Throwback Thursday. But yeah, we didn't make the playoffs, which is obvious. There's obvious reasons why we didn't. We didn't have any depth. So that's okay. We went 37 and 45. We're going to have a pick. So I can roll with that. That's not bad at all. Obviously, this team probably wouldn't have missed the playoffs in real life if this was an actual good roster that like had everybody on it. But unfortunately, it's not. So 33 from Kobe Bryant, 22 from Chris Paul, and 8 assists. So I'm fully expecting us to be back better than ever next year. But let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's go straight to draft lottery and see what lottery pick we get. Hopefully, we get something decent as we end up with the 12th overall pick. So we are in the lottery, which is kind of crazy back in the Kobe days. But let's go uh, Frank Vogel, so our coach, uh, Jason Kidd. We're going to keep the staff the same because everybody's pretty decent here. But let's go to the draft. And uh, for the draft, 12th overall, I do have the 2011 draft class loaded in. So let's see if we can get something good here. So we'll know what player we can get and what will fit best because we kind of need shooters around these guys, I feel like. So Jonas Valanciunas, we do need a center. We have Reggie Jackson here, um, Brandon Knight, Zach Hunter. We don't need a point guard. Frank Berry, Alec Burks. Huh, who do I want to take? Marshawn Brooks is here. Iman Shumpert. Huh, Jonas Valanciunas, Chandler Parsons. Let me see what. So Kyrie went number one, like he did in real life. Ennis Cantor. Uh, what else we got? All right, so Kirk Burks. Okay, I might take Alec Burks here. I'm not feeling special about that. We could just take Jonas Valanciunas. Maybe that's a safer pick. Maybe I should take Jonas Valanciunas. I think I will. I think I'll take Jonas Valanciunas out of Lithuania. And then uh, we'll go to, I don't think we have another pick, so I'll just send him to the end on that. So, Jonas Valanciunas, welcome to the Lakers. You get to play with Kobe and Chris Paul. Congratulations. Player options, we got none. And then qualifying offers. 
Uh, we have a lot of these bums down here, but obviously not gonna be bringing any of them back because we don't need any of them. We need to build this roster around these two. We need depth, so we need nine players that can play a full season. So we have $38 million in cap space, which is good. We'll have more after we announce all these guys. So basically right now we only have Jonas Valanciunas and Luol Deng still here. Wow, that's funny. And then uh, Chris Paul, Kobe, Matt Barnes, and Jonas Valanciunas. So it's not bad. It's a good start, but obviously we need depth. So we have Matt Barnes is a decent starting small forward, but it's not ideal if I could find something different. We need a power forward. I don't really want Jonas Valanciunas to start, but if I have to, I'm okay with it. So we want to really focus on the backcourt. Let's see what we can afford. I don't want to go spending crazy money because we kind of need to fill out the roster. So I can't just offer somebody like a crazy $40 million because that's going to be like the mo all, all of our money. So we need to spend wisely here. So uh, we need a small forward. DeRozan doesn't really fit here, or I would potentially go for him. Rajon Rondo, definitely don't need him. Carlos Boozer, uh, Tyreek Evans, Gallinari. What else we got? Vince Carter is down here. Vince Carter, we could pair Vince Carter with Kobe and Chris Paul. That could be interesting. Only wants $18 million. That's actually not bad at all. We might go for that. Greg Oden. Oh my gosh. Uh, Paul Millsap, Danny Green. Another one. If we didn't need a shooting guard, I would maybe do it, but we don't really need a shooting guard. Cousins, Steven Jackson. Uh, doesn't want that much money either uh 13 million so i think we'll go offer steven jackson a contract maybe like a two-year deal we'll also offer vince carter a contract because he didn't want a ton of money either uh where was he? he was like an 84 i think so vince carter we'll go ahead and offer you uh 17 mil that's not bad we'll offer you a three-year deal and then for centers that we could potentially get cousins this year when well, i don't want to give him that much money though uh what else we got tiago splitter uh, I guess we could go for that, you know, maybe a decent center. We can maybe give him like a one-year deal, see how that goes. And then Deshaun Stevenson, that could be another shooter, but we don't need a back of small forward because we have uh, Matt Barnes, but I think we've used all of our offers today. Yes, we have. So let's see which one we get. I want to take Vince Carter or Steven Jackson and we get, oh, okay. So we get Steven Jackson or Vince Carter. So I think, I think they're, they're both 33. Vince Carter, I think sounds a little bit better. So I think I'm going to go Vince Carter and Tiago Splitter here. Uh, we should have a little bit more money left. So Vince Carter is going to immediately be the starting small forward. We'll see him power forward. Paul Pierce, uh, Zach Randolph. What do we got? Paul Millsap, 24-year-old Paul Millsap or Al Harrington, Jermaine O'Neal could be interesting. Um, Paul Millsap, 24-year-old 20, Paul Millsap. I'll offer him a three-year deal. I don't know if we're going to have enough for all this, but I'll try real quick, see if we can afford all this. If not, we could maybe just decline um, Tiago Splitter real quick. But I think, yeah, we can afford all three. Good. All right. So we kind of have a uh, nice little starting five now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need like two more players about the roster, but it's not a bad start. I think we are pretty decent here. So we need some backup guards. Uh, although I saw we didn't really have that much money left to spend. So our best player we can get is Rashad, Rashard Lewis, which is kind of sad. Michael Carter Williams is here. Shouldn't even be in this roster. Uh, Leandro Barbosa, I guess, could be decent. We'll go ahead and offer him a contract. And then I think that's about like literally all we can do in free agency. So Leandro Barbosa, welcome to the team. And then we might trade Goran Dragic. Uh, we can't afford him. Okay, we might trade either Vince Carter or Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap is only 24. So I feel like he'll probably have better trade value. So we could trade him, I think, to try to get a two for one thing going. So I think I will try that. We'll also offer a second round pick and see if we can get like a two for one here. Antoine Jameson, Alfred Camino, Joe Ingles, Bialitza, Steve Novak, J.R. Smith, PJ Tucker, and Carl Landry. That could be interesting. We have to give up uh, Leandro Barbosa, but that is two power forwards. PJ Tucker, uh, not really sure about that one though. Marco Bellinelli and George Hill, that's two backup guards. We do have to trade and we don't we wouldn't have a power forward at that point so that might be a little bit bad javel mcgee so none of these are that great michael red and ursan Ilyasova, but we have to trade a first so maybe we just roll with what we got right now because i'm not really seeing anything that great here ingles and a first so i'm not really yeah i'm not really seeing anything that phenomenal so uh let's go ahead and offer leandro barbosa and Jonas valentunez instead potentially and see if we can get something you know decent to pop up here not really seen anything javel mcgee michael red so there were some decent offers one more thing i want to try tiago splitter leandro barbosa let's see ingles novak uh let's just try tiago splitter alone and see what that will give me so michael red uh by Elitza, two for one can we get a two for one deal going uh foil and we have to trade a first and that's a decent backup shooting guard 
uh earn time okay so none of these are that great so i think we'll just roll with what we got right now so one two three four five six seven eight so we need like one more player a backup point guard or backup power forward or center or something so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get richard lewis i guess i think that's the best i can do so i mean we might be able to make changes later on but for now this is going to be our roster going into season number two so i'm okay with it for now but hopefully we're able to make changes at the trade deadline potentially but if this team does good then maybe we won't need to change anything so hopefully we can roll with this roster and uh we'll see what happens according to 2k this duo would have been unstoppable as kobe bryant is your mvp 34 points eight assists 43 percent from three uh warren kerr is your rookie of the year okay lou williams is your sixth man on the philadelphia 76ers Dwight Howard's fifth player on the magic ed davis your most improved and coach of the year frank vogel 72 and 10 like i said this duo according to 2k would have been unstoppable as we get both chris paul and kobe on the all nba first team awesome to see that here's your all nba second team Derek rose russell westbrook lebron carmelo Pau Gasol down there as well len makes an all nba third team with the golden state warriors this had to be the len sanity days oh my gosh okay uh, we might have to do a what if rebuild on Jeremy land and the knicks man we might have to do that but all the fits first team as well for chris paul and kobe so that's awesome to see so obviously we might have had some clampers here but we are the first seed in the western conference we get to play the los angeles clippers so the battle of la is still around here are your player stats we have 34 points from kobe 25 from chris paul uh you know Chinez was our third leading scorer with 14 points Paul Millsap with 14 and then Vince Carter had 10 not bad at all Richard Lewis Matt Barnes splitter did their thing as well so that's all right not bad I'm uh, I'm happy with it two steals from Kobe and two steals from Chris Paul almost three honestly two and a half from Chris Paul but let's see what we got the, uh let's see what the Clippers got they got Blake Griffin I imagine and they also have Dwayne Wade and Marcus Saul I guess they don't have Blake Griffin anymore they must have let him walk is that Tom Brady Tyrone Brady I was like Tom Brady's on the Clippers <laughs> Uh, Dwayne Wayne, Marcus Saul, Eric Bledsoe, Eric Gordon, and Al Farouk Aminu. So, this is a good team, but hopefully we are better. We did just go 7-2-10, and 10, so I'm expecting to uh, basically sweep the playoffs. Maybe not sweep them, but have a good chance to make it to the NBA Finals. As we're up 3-0 on the Clippers. 3-1, can we beat them? And yes, we do. We beat them in five games as we get to play the Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's see what the Thunder have. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook. Serge Ibaka, DeMarcus Cousins, they did lose Kevin Durant, didn't they? Wow. So it's Russ and Harden and Ibaka. So that's interesting. And Cousins, I guess, too. So let's go ahead and sell my current round against the Thunder. Uh, they're up 1-0 to start. They are up 2-0, up 3-0. Are we going to lose to the Oklahoma City Thunder in the second round? I thought for sure we were going to be able to win the championship this season, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat them and at least win one game and not get swept. We do win this one, 120 to 113. So let's keep going to Simcast and see if we can make a 3-0 comeback. It is possible. It has, you know, it has happened before, so you never know. So let's see what happens. So we do take the lead here, and we do beat them here, 102 to 116. And let's go to Simcast again. So if we win this one, I think it's safe to say that we are in the driver's seat to uh, basically win this series. Uh, but we can't lose this one, obviously. And we do come back in the very end and beat them 125 to 120. It is mob of mentality out here, you, you, my, you, my boy. What? So let's go ahead and see if we can beat them here to make this 3-0 comeback. And it looks like we're going to Kobe Bryant and Chris Paul make that 3-0 comeback. 30 and 14 from Chris Paul and 30 and 14 from Kobe Bryant. You love to see it. 36, I guess, from Chris Paul. Wow, awesome. So we're in the West Conference Finals as the Thunder just blew a 3-0 lead. Now we get to play the Dallas Mavericks. They have Dirk Nowitzki, Rajon Rondo. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was, you know, the best thing in the world. Because we, as we all know, the Rondo Dallas Mavericks thing didn't really work out. So let's see. We're up 1-0 on the Mavericks. Up 2-0. Uh, they are okay. We're up 3-1. Actually, let's just keep going. I'm not going to jump into this. I was thinking about jumping in, but we're going to probably jump in here. The New Orleans or the Charlotte Hornets. I almost said New Orleans Hornets. But the Charlotte Hornets are in the NBA Finals. Let's see what they have. So they have... Kevin Durant, that makes sense. So they signed Kevin Durant, Danilo Gallinari, Jason Richardson, uh, Kenyon Martin, and then Ger Gerald Wallace, and then Kirk Burks. Uh, also, they drafted and then Jason Smith. All right, so let's simulate current round against the Charlotte Hornets. We're up 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 2-2, we're up 3-2. All right, let's go to SimCast. See if we can get some gameplay here if we can beat them in New Orleans or in Charlotte. I keep saying New Orleans, my bad. Can we beat them here and uh, get some gameplay to end this video off? Let's see uh okay it is a close game so we're gonna slow this down a little bit let's continue a simulation if this is a close game i might jump in 
it is a very close game 98 to one actually yeah let's see if we can come back you know maybe come back from an eight point deficit see if we can come back and win a championship with kobe and chris paul well, let's see if we can do it boys all right we're definitely going to kobe on this possession there's no way we can't oh i thought vince car was going to be open uh we'll give it to chris paul who's actually tired right now but i think i can hit that mid-range uh no but splitter does get the rebound and he gets the and one that's a good start to coming back so we're gonna be down five if we can make this free throw which would be the best case scenario right now so hopefully we can do that all right let's let's get this game going we're gonna shoot this free throw with tiago splitter and we sink it okay good all right let's see what we got out here kobe and chris paul are still out here good i was making sure that cpu didn't sub them out for some stupid reason but we have to clamp kevin durant which is no easy task so hopefully we're able to do that we do cut him off here he wants to pull up but he can't because we are clamping up jason richardson here with the ball all right come on kobe don't don't let him get around you please can we get that rebound yes we do all right good so now let's let's run this up with kobe i think we might be able to get around the edge no we cannot he clamps there all right splitter let's get that pick and roll kobe for three wow green light that was a fadeaway three-pointer wow okay that was pretty crazy but at least we made it all right so we're gonna court is that Corey joseph out here why is Corey? Jo it I don't even remember when Corey Joseph uh, got drafted, so I'm not sure if he's supposed to be here or not. But that's a mid-range, and thankfully Kevin Durant misses it because we left him open. So we kind of dared him to shoot it. Uh, let's see if we can get around. Ooh, Paul Millsap should be open. We do. Okay, so I thought we were going to get the end one, but we did not. So already we have tied this game, which is good if we can make the free throws, I guess. So I shouldn't be talking too soon. But Giannis Valanciunas is out here now, so let's go ahead and sink the second one. And we do not. Okay, so we're down one still, but that's all right. So, ooh, Gallinari's going to run it up, isn't he? Can we get the D? Yes, Paul must have good defense. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas should be open, but Kobe is just too fast. We're going to take it in, and we're going to take that one-point lead. Let's go. We have made our eight-point comeback already, and KD was chasing us down, but he can't. He can't do it. So let's go to Vince Carter and see if we can clamp up KD here. It's, all right, so we're only up one, and Kevin Durant's running around the court. I don't know where he's going, but he's definitely... Okay, did he make that? No, he misses. Kevin Durant is choking right now. Kobe, oh, nope, that was... I did not expect him to cut. I was expecting him to go to the corner. Please. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, this is bad. Okay, uh, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. I thought they were going to get a transition bucket, but they did not. KD is going to pull up out there, isn't he? Almost. He almost did, I feel like. All right, okay, I left him open. Is he going to... Oh, my gosh, KD. You are missing out here, boy. It's like the Thunder days when you left to go to Golden State. Kobe, open. Oh, I... I changed... I changed my shot in the middle of the air. I thought we were about to miss that because I was going to dunk and I accidentally changed it. All right, Vince Carter again on Kevin Durant. It seems like Kevin Durant is just missing everything right now as the Hornets do call a timeout. And they're going back to him. Why wouldn't they? Uh, again, the Gallinari is posting up on me right now. Let's see. Okay, Vince Carter. Can we? Oh, that's a mid range. And Kevin Durant hits it. So we're only up by one point. All right, I want to go to Chris Paul here. I want to give Chris Paul some left. So I'm going to try to get a shot off with Chris Paul if we can. So let's see if we can get like some pick and roll. Maybe even a lob to Jonas Valanciunas wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see. Can we? Ooh, that might. No, it's not open. It's not open, but can he hit it? No. Kobe in the corner. Uh, okay, I thought that was about to be. All right, so we have 10 seconds left. We are going to kind of slow this clock down. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to it. We're going to, like I said, I still want to get Chris Paul a basket if I can. And we do hit that green light. That might be dagger shot. We're only up by four, so it's not impossible for the Hornets to come back. But that could have been dagger. Because I think we're going to win this championship as they're going to send me to the free throw line. That's going to be the game. And we're going to win this championship with Kobe Bryant and Chris Paul. I mean, you can only imagine those two probably would have won a championship together. I mean, they would have been like the one of the greatest backcourts to ever live, I feel like. So we're going to win this championship. Let's go ahead and let them pass it in. And guys, we should be going home with a championship. Kobe Bryant. I don't know which ring this would have been. Probably his third third or fourth i don't know it was either his third fourth or fifth i don't remember for sure but we have won the championship let's go the lakers are the champions once again with chris paul and kobe bryant leading the way kobe bryant is your finals mvp and guys i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna simulate one more season and see if we can win another one another one the end of season number three this time chris paul is your mvp 26 points 13 assists 43 percent from the three 87% uh, from free throw and 53% from the field. Rookie of the year goes to, not even gonna try to pronounce that name, 
Jermaine O'Neal is your sixth man, Dwight Howard's defensive player. On the Magic still, so the Magic did retain Dwight Howard, and then DeMarcus Cousins is your most improved. On the Thunder, Frank Vogel, coach of the year again. So, can we win another championship? We are the first seed in the Western Conference. Let's go look at the stats real quick. Kobe Bryant, Chris Paul, you know, it's Tunez, Paul Millsap. Only thing that changes, I did sign Marco Bellinelli. That's about it. And then we got Tiago Splitter back as well. So, yeah, that's like literally the only thing that changed. So, uh, let's go look at the rotation. Uh, we got Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant. We're going to give them a bunch of minutes because they're the reason why we came back from a 3-0 deficit on the Oklahoma City Thunder. So, let's go ahead, guys, and see if we can beat the Denver Nuggets in the first round. Let's see what they got going on at their helm. They have... Carmelo Anthony, prime Carmelo Anthony, and then Tracy McGrady, Chauncey Billups, and Steven Jackson. So let's see if we can beat the Denver Nuggets in the first round. That would be a good start to trying to win our second championship of the video. As we're up 2 0 on the Nuggets, 3 0. Can we beat them in four games? Nope. 3 1. And we get to play the Houston Rockets in the second round, which is fitting because, as we know, uh, during the trade, we actually traded Pau Gasol to the Rockets. So they have Pau Gasol, Zach Randolph, Kyle Lowry, and Allen Iverson, an old Allen Iverson, 36 year old. So interesting. Let's see if we can beat them, though. We should be able to. We're up 1 0 to start, up 2 0. Can we go up 3 0? And are we going to sweep them? Nope, 3 1. Can we beat them in five? Yes, we do. Now we're playing the Dallas Mavericks, again, who have Dirk Nowitzki, Rajon Rondo, Karone Butler, Sean Marion, and ethan thomas or eaton etten tom i don't know how to say that but uh we beat them last year hoping we can do it again uh they're up one oh to start we evened it up they're up two one we evened it up again they're up three two let's go to simcast and see if we can come back from this uh we might not be able to guys we might lose here in this time around but we'll see what happens we are trying to make a little bit of a comeback here but we do end up losing 111 and 125 so we did win a championship earlier but we can't win our second one of the video kevin durant leads the hornets back to the nba finals but it's not enough as never mind kevin durant wins the championship with the hornets see you didn't have to join the warriors but thank you guys so much for watching appreciate you guys so much but this crush and i'm saying peace